All right, so it is still the sport buffet, and uh, every Tuesday we, we you know talk about everything Nigerian football, Nigerian footballers. And uh, just before we get in on it, uh, let me ask you this question: Have you have you been frustrated on the pitch before when you were playing? Have Many you, times. <laughs> Many times. As a player, frustrated, you, you go all out on the player. You just have you injured someone before, like on, on the pitch? Like, no, I've never. I've never, but I've been injured by player. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> my career was in it. I so I'm not a good marker. I don't know how to mark. I don't also know how to. So there are. I I don't. I'm not in position to really injure people. I don't head the ball. So when we're crossing the corner, I'm either the one crossing it or I'm standing outside of the 18 yard box. I don't attack corner kick inside the box. I don't also defend corner kick. I don't care who you are, but I'm going to be the man running out for the counter attack. So instead, I'm close to the guy who's kicking the ball, forming an unnecessary war. But I don't like being in the 18 yard box. I'm always thinking I'm going to cause a mistake that will score own goal or cause a fight. I'm not good at marking. So I'm not, you're not going to see me getting in challenge with you. I can press you. I can close you up a bit. That's where it ends. Throw those unnecessary legs. That, nah, nah. I'm not me. There's just this thing about me that says, give me the ball. I don't care who's in front of me. Two things I have. I will dribble you and I'm faster than you. So I don't get a problem. Why, why I'm asking this is because Peter Crouch recently came out to apologize to uh, Mikel for that tackle. I remember that game, Liverpool Chelsea, that, uh, you know, Carling Cup quarter final game. It, it was. Uh, it 2016 was, or so? It, it, was, it was terrible for, for Peter Crouch. I remember that Mikel, Red was, card. All, Mikel was all over him. I mean, do, do players still mark attackers these days? As in, Mikel was just all over Peter Crouch. He was instructed to mark anywhere he goes. Peter Crouch had a terrible game. Terrible game, but do you if see you that play, football? Just if, you, if you play under Mourinho, you do get that kind of man marking. Um, Edgar Davis used to be a, a, a beast in man marking. Uh, Gattuso Gennaro Gattuso used to also be a very terrible man marker. When he marks you, you're dead, man. <laughs> you're, you're out of the game. He takes you out. And there are quite a few other players. The Resenga was one of them. We're talking about him earlier yeah. on. Quite a few players who do do that man marking. Uh, uh, what's he called? Alessandro Nesta was a sniper that took at Ronaldo da Lima like a couple of times. He just know how to not only mark you, even off the ball, he's poking finger in you, causing, insulting you, making you unstable and all that. There are a lot of players like that. In today's football, I think the ball, the game have evolved so much so that it's about movement of the ball and movement of the player. So the football today is more about transition uh, than any other thing. And there's a caller calling and it, we need to take this one. Maybe okay. once joining on the conversation. We can hold the caller back. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Hey, Precious, how you doing? I'm fine, thank you. I'm great show this morning. Thank you, sir. Uh, yeah, um, I, I want to take a cue from the, the discussion you are having just um, a few seconds ago about the Peter Crouch and Mikel incident. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it's really, um, I, I'm using this opportunity to really give a huge shout out to Mikel himself. A lot of um, Chelsea fans back then didn't appreciate the, the colossus that he was. And truly, the guy who should be recognized as a Chelsea legend. Um, Mikel Onda Moreno was literally a walking final whistle. Um, I, I, I still um, have this opinion that in 2009, when Chelsea um, considered that very late goal to FC Barcelona at Stanford Bridge, um, which stopped the, the repeat of the 2008 Champions League final. Um, if Chelsea had had a Mikel in place of Michael Essien uh, for the dying seconds of that game, there was no way that Barcelona was scoring at the goal either. Once you see Mikel walking, walking around the first line, you know the game was all but completed. Uh, so, that's kudos to the man himself for... Um, been quite fit at his job. He wasn't flamboyant, but he was a very, very efficient footballer for me. All right, thank you very much, Precious Omosu. We calling us all the way from Ikurudu, and we were talking about uh, man markers. In my my lifetime, I've seen man markers. I mean, because I'm one of those uh, coaches who always tell play players to mark. Uh, but on the bigger stage, uh, there was one man marking job done by Andres Herrera, Manchester United versus Chelsea on mm. Eden Hazard. Mm. Yeah. That yeah. is man marking at the highest level. 1982 World Cup, uh, there was the Claudio Gentili uh, man marking on Armando Dego Maradona, young Armando Dego Maradona. A lot of people listening to us now might not know, but the older folks will remember that very well. There is also the 
Ambrosini, you know, I mean, Ambrosini marks you like uh, somebody paid him to just come and make your life miserable. It doesn't mark you like, oh, we're playing football, have your phone, I have my phone, you go your way, I go my way. No, it's not that kind of guy. Like, he comes to you and like, I want to kill you, okay? I don't care who you are, but I'm going to make life difficult for you, okay? Another man who gave Maradona a tough time, I think it was Italian 90, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no, is it, is it 1986? No, it was Italian 90. Loda Matios on Armando Diego Maradona. The two of them, you know, Luda Matthews is the only guy who's played in five World Cup for, for the men's World Cup. Yeah. Uh, great, great guy. Made life difficult. This was me coming up and, you know, I started in 1986 watching football and then I saw Maradona play. To me, that number 10 was the, the only number that exists in football. We've been seeing the Pele number, but I didn't watch Pele play. I, I had to watch his archive later. And to see a Luda Matthews mark Maradona and make him use, render a player that good, useless, for me was another level entirely and then you have players like ambrosini uh, massimo ambrosini ricardo montelivo there's this job that felipe mexis did on messi like no messi mm. I remember uh, yeah. uh, I, 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 so i've seen messi being rendered useless in some games but prime messi mexis who is not really a fast fast player doing that as a same job on Lionel Messi was one of the best job anybody have done on Lionel Messi in his you know career as a football player. There are so many other players that have come in, but it's like maybe when Messi is not playing, he's just trolling on the field. But when Messi is on fire and you have a player do that, and then I've also seen I saw the General Gattuso. Uh, you remember that semi final match, uh, three two game. Manchester United won the first leg in semi finals three two, and then Milan needed to win in San Siro to progress to the finals. Remember that match. And somehow, it was 2007, it was the business of General Gattuso to make sure Cristiano Ronaldo end up crying. Because if he lets him lose, Cristiano Ronaldo was, was a beast. Then there was the hatchet job done by one guy that people never give credit for. I think it should be regarded as a Manchester United legend. Arsenal fans would remember this guy very well. Jason Park. <laughs> did an incredible Mikel Obi on Andre Pelo. Andre Pelo just couldn't find the ball. Even when you give the pass to Andre Pelo, a man who knows how to blanket the ball very well, who knows how to wardrobe the ball very well, just couldn't even find the ball, couldn't find space to play. So I've seen quite a lot of man markers in my time of watching following football and still quite a lot of good ones out there. Uh, there are players who have clean takes, players who would defend but they won't commit foul. Uh, they walk through you. People like Long Blanc, people like uh, uh, Danny Blind, the father, not this one that is the low budget version. You know, seen a whole lot of those players. All right. Uh, you know, thumbs up to John B. Mikel, very uh, regarded during his time at Chelsea. He reminds me of one of the uh, uh, remarkable transfer tosses. I mean, we all thought he was going to Manchester United, then Chelsea came into the picture. And, you know, he did his bit, won a lot of laurels at Chelsea, won the Champions League and all that. So, a good one for John Obi Mikel. Um, he's, um, you know, he left his club side in Kuwait recently, so we don't know what next for uh, John Obi Mikel. You are listening to a Legbete TV radio.